Hi, Bill Barber from Polygon here. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to properly make use of displacement textures within Polygon materials in Cinema 4D with Corona. Before we get started, let's take a look at the material we'll be using. It's Ground Asphalt Broken 001 and is easily one of my favorite ground textures here at Polygon. Um, it's brilliant for demonstrating this displacement, which is why I picked it. <laughs> um, I've already got the 4K version saved to my hard drive and I'll include a link um, below the video. As a note, uh, I would recommend getting the, the 4K version if you're going to be following along because with displacement you really do want as much detail from the texture as possible. So let's take a look at what it is we're going to be doing. You've probably heard of a bump map before which is used to artificially give the impression of height in a material. Well a displacement map is different. It is used to literally deform the object based on the values of the texture with the black areas being the deep crevices and the white areas being the peaks. It results in a far more realistic material. Okay, so let's look at how we do this in Corona. We've got a very simple scene here. It's just a floor plane and a HDR lighting sort of setup. Um, and I'll use this perspective view for rendering. Let me just put that back roughly where it was. Um, and we'll start by bringing in the material. Now, I've covered how to use the material converter in a previous video, but I'll, I'll, I will link that below. But for now, let's grab our material. Oop. There we go. <laughs> and I'll just click convert and bring that into Cinema 4D. Okay, so with that brought in, let's just drag and drop it onto our plane here. And I'm gonna adjust the tiling a little bit, just so we can uh, see what's going on. And at this point, I'll, I'll hit render and we'll see what we get by, uh, by default from the material converter. Okay, so yeah, not the greatest result by default. Um, <laughs> it's, it's looking very, very flat and uh, uninteresting. So uh, yeah, we have a little bit of work to do. Thankfully not much though. So let me just close that window down and I'll double click on the material itself and we'll take a look at it. You're gonna to wanna to go to the displacement tab and this is where the uh, displacement settings are. And in Corona really, the only <laughs> thing we need to adjust is this max level. Now, if you look at the grid spacing here, it's saying that each one of these squares is about 100 centimeters. And this can only displace a maximum of 0.5 centimeter. It suddenly becomes very clear why we weren't getting a particularly exciting result. So what I'm gonna do is put that up to, let's say 100. And you'll instantly see in the preview there, our material goes uh, goes crazy and starts bumping out, which is exactly what we want. So yeah, I, I <laughs> With Corona, I literally think that is all we're gonna to need to do. So let's just hit render and take a look at the difference. Right, so yeah, <laughs> uh, pretty much a night and day difference there. If we compare that with the original render, it's amazing what can be done from changing one setting, isn't it? <laughs> um, the important thing to remember though is this is something that will need to be adjusted on a sort of per material basis. If you were to apply uh, this sort of level of displacement to a wooden floor or some tiles or or, or, or something like that <laughs> it would look ridiculous um, so it's, it's got to be adjusted depending on the material itself so in summary we've taken a material from polygon.com brought it into cinema 4d using the material converter played around with the height scale um, to get the uh, the right amount for the material in question and then rendered it out with corona <laughs> 